in this uh, room, and Casey Kimball is going to lead a, a session, and also we will be watching a video um, by a guy named Stephen Meyer, who is a scientist, and it's a very good, very appropriate uh, material. If you are a college student, or if you have, have faced this uh, information before, and you'd like to know how to fight it, you'd like to know how to uh, compete against it, um, and to know a biblical worldview that, that actually says the truth, um, this is the time to come to, to, to hear this, because it's very important information. So I just want to push that. It's called True You, and it's on Wednesday nights at 6 o'clock. Also, this weekend, um, on Saturday, we're going to have a, uh, a canning, a dry canning, on September 14th. And if you want to, do, if you want to be a part of this, uh, there are brochures, um, probably in the four areas. Uh, you can grab this one if you want to. Um, but there's a list of food products that, uh, that are available, and so if you want to um, be a part of this and, uh, and, and do some canning, please uh, fill out this list and turn it in by Wednesday, September 11th, and so we can have plenty of time to get all the food and to be able to do that. So some dry canning uh, going on on Saturday at, at 9 o'clock. And also, um, this Sunday, next Sunday, on the 15th, we're having a... Uh, an event called Family Day, and this will be one that's, uh, that Nick Coleman is leading. And so it started, it'll be starting in the morning time, and it'll go through the afternoon. And so it starts in the morning service, and then uh, going into the afternoon, and we'll have lunch during that time. And there's, there is a, uh, an announcement on this on the second column, on this first page when we open up the Cypress Heart. And it tells you what, what to bring, basically. If you're in adult one, you bring desserts. Adult two, baked beans. Potato salad for adult three. A veggie tray for adult four. Condiments for adult five. So basically it's going to be uh, burgers and that type of thing. And I guess I'll be provided by the church. And everything else will be brought by us. It should be a, a fun time, a, a good time to be part of that. But it'll be family day. This, uh, what we're doing is... is is kind of making a one day a session that might turn into something else in the future. So uh, we're just, it's, it's a pretty good thing we're doing here. We're going to call it Family Day, Family Ministry Day. So, so this should be a good thing. And also, the week after that, September 22nd, we just keep going. Uh, we're going to have a uh, gumbo cook off in the evenings, after the evening service. So more food. And this will be, this is always good. We've, we've had chili cook-offs before, and we've had gumbo cook-offs, so we're doing gumbo cook-off this year. And basically, if you have a secret gumbo recipe, we want you to bring that recipe, and we're going to have a contest. You know, we're not going to win anything, just the uh, prestige of winning the contest, I guess. And, uh, but anyway, um, but we're going to be having this contest, and we'll just get to enjoy a lot of gumbo cooking is basically what it's really going to be about. But there's an even bigger premise, and it's really going to raise money for REACH Texas. And if you notice around the, uh, all around this campus, there are posters about REACH Texas, and this month we'll be, uh, we'll be raising funds for REACH Texas for the Southern Baptist of Texas Convention to do their ministry work. The goal at Old Cypress Baptist is $3,000. The goal for REACH Texas is $1.2 million. So, so if we give well over $3,000, they'll, they'll be able to use it. 1.2 million is a lot of money, so uh, so we certainly want to uh, help them out as much as possible in their ministry efforts to uh, plant churches and to work in various cities and small cities across the United States, or across Texas at least. And so uh, there's uh, really good things that are happening there, so we're going to have that gumbo cook-off, and also during, during that gumbo cook-off, it's going to be a, a joint effort to also pound um, our youth minister and his uh, fiance. And basically a pound of sugar, a pound of salt, a pound of ice cream, a pound of whatever it might be. You know, good luck on those, you know, getting a pound of all that. Probably going to be a lot more to pound. But, um, but anyway, it should be a, a lot of fun there. So that's, so as they're going to be married on October 12th, uh, this will help them to give them some items to uh, start off their uh, marriage uh, on, a good, on a good foot. To, uh, so they won't starve, basically. And, and, uh, and, you know, that would not be good on a marriage. I would think so. But anyway, um, be a good time. There's other announcements in here too. Fall festivals coming up in about a month and a half. So be watching out for that. And they do have an announcement about fall festival in here as well. You want to read that? 
And then uh, there is a swim party. Okay, I do want to read that. September 14th. So that's, what is that? That's Sunday? Saturday. It's Saturday. This Saturday. And it'll be um, at uh, Sarah's house. No, we don't have a pool, so it must be Sarah Chisholm's house. Okay. So anyway, um, that's an it's, it's just adult five Sunday school class, basically. All right. So that's going on right there. Okay. Anyway, I, I once again just want to uh, remind you about this evening, about Follow Me. It's a very important event. Um, and it'll be going off in the next six weeks at 6.30. So we do want you to be here. And uh, you, boy, this would be a good, a good thing to, for all of us to be a part of and to invite people to be a part of as well. Well, let's stand up as we greet each other this morning and the Lord.
Father, we come to you today thankful for your presence with us. We rejoice in the church family and those that you sent today as guests. Uh, Lord, those who are considering whether or not you may be drawing them to be a part of this, uh, to be a member of this family of faith here at Little Cypress Baptist Church. We pray that you would help us to be sensitive to your spirit's leading today, that we would desire to be more like Christ, to hunger and thirst for righteousness, knowing that for those who do that, you've promised you would be filled. We ask, Lord, that you would turn our nation back toward biblical truth and godliness, that you would help us as a, a, a your people in this world to stand for truth. Today we pray, Lord God, specifically for those Christians at Lackland Air Force Base uh, in San Antonio. We pray, Lord God, that you would help them as they suffer persecution for standing for biblical values. And that they won't back down, but that they will represent you in a loving and, and a way that people would understand the love of Christ even as we go through difficult times. We do ask today, Lord, if there's someone in this place who has not yet responded to your call uh, to receive your salvation through Jesus Christ 